the absolute first mini controller I ever built. I built it to control Loopy. It's a foot switch. Uh, all eight of these I had bindings to, um, I think, toggle mute for loops one through eight in Loopy. So it was a little LED for me to hit it for each one. I built it with an Arduino board, and honestly, after doing that and using the Teensy board, I much prefer the Teensy board. Uh, it's smaller, it's easier to work with, and it's basically all I've ever needed to build these MIDI controllers. But yeah, this is just basic foot switch controller. It actually sends note values rather than CCs. I didn't really know what I was doing when I wrote the uh, sketch for it, so. But no values work. You can map those to Loopy to do whatever you want, so. Anywho, just a simple foot switch controller. It's got an angle on it, so it's kind of nice. Uh, this backing is just Velcroed on, so I can get to the circuitry if I ever need to. So here's the MIDI controller I built. Everything is mounted in an old VHS tape. Use the Teensy board. I mostly use this for in the studio and just controlling synths. So I have some things mapped on it right now. Cut off, resonance, glide. Uh, I think I have attack, decay, sustain for uh, the ISM. I also have volume, just the basic volume now. I don't have, <clears throat> I have these three knobs that are not currently mapped, but I'll probably be mapping them to something eventually. My, all my tornado effects on these sliders. interesting sounds. These two switches both go to this photoresistor. This switch is bound to the volume. This switch is bound to the cutoff. First you have to hit it. Let's take off these effects. Then you can also do volume as well as cutoff. range isn't very high, but it's enough to get a little bit of more interesting sounds going on. Uh, obviously it makes a big difference if I completely cut a light source. kind of cool to mount it into the old VHS case. This is the latest MIDI controller that I've built. I built it for my girlfriend for our live setup together. It's a bunch of knobs. It's 12 knobs. Um, she uses all of these to control different effects in Tornado. And we have one volume knob which actually does a uh, volume or for a synthesizer she uses, but 12 potentiometers mapped to different things in Tornado. She made the labels for them and stuff, so. Uh, the cool thing about this one is she also needed a foot switch, so I built this little breakout cable here. This is an old foot switch controller that I just had lying around apparently, and uh, yeah, so this just plugs into the back of it. 
So basically she uses this for Loopy. I think she has it mapped to record and then select new track. So she can just hit it with her foot and be playing her keyboards and also do, be doing effects live. So this has been really cool. This is a fun little project to build something custom for her. Uh, yeah, that is the latest thing I've built. It's pretty easy. Again, it has the uh, teensy board in there. That's just a case I got for like three dollars, a little craft case. Drilled some holes in it, got the knobs on there. And yeah.